Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J-Man Time and today I have a video on a modern forgotten weapon or a modern weapon that has largely been forgotten even though it has never even passed the prototype stage and was developed only in the last 10 or 12 years. And this weapon system here was touted as being the future of the Canadian Armed Forces at least when it comes to infantry assault weapons. This weapons project here was supposed to be Canada's future assault rifle project that has pretty much been abandoned or has been seemingly abandoned as there has been no more information on this weapon since the year of 2016. And that is the Canadian Colt Sipes or the Soldier Integrated Precision Effects System from 2009-2015. Now this is basically the Canadian equivalent to the XM8 and the XM29 series of multi-purpose modular assault weapon systems that were developed by the US back in the late 1990s and early 2000s, except this weapon system here was developed in the early 2010s to mid 2010s between the years of 2009 and 2015. This weapon system was developed by the Canadian branch of the Colt Arms Manufacturing Company and the Canadian Research and Development Centre based in Canada, the DRDC, which is the Canadian government's military branch that specializes in testing and developing new weapons for the Canadian Armed Forces. Now this was a joint project between these two organizations and so far it seems as if they at least have one or two prototypes that were completed between the years of 2009 and 2015. Now this Colt Sipes combines a 5.56mm NATO bullpup assault rifle with a 40mm semi-automatic grenade launcher and either a pump action or semi-automatic 12 gauge either underbarreled or overbarreled or side mounted shotgun. So basically a 3-in-1 weapon. Technically a 4-in-1 weapon as this weapon also has some more futuristic optical sights and optical sensors similar to what we saw on the XM8 and XM29 back in the late 90s and early 2000s. Now as I mentioned, the assault rifle portion of this weapon system is chambered for the standard 5.56 NATO and is based either on the Canadian C7 or Canadian C8 series of select fire assault rifles and assault carbines. The grenade launcher is either a semi-automatic or pump action 40 by 46 caliber grenade launcher and it also has either a semi-automatic or a pump action 12 gauge shotgun that holds anywhere from 3 to 5 rounds. Now the assault rifle portion has a rate of fire of at least 800 to 900 rounds per minute and the grenade launcher and shotguns as I mentioned are either semi-automatic or pump action so pretty much as fast as you can fire the weapon system. Now what is new about this weapon system is it has some mostly unmentioned or unnamed electro optical sights and some position slash positional sensors similar to what we saw again on the American XM29 and the XM8 series of experimental modular combined multi-purpose assault weapon systems from the 90s and early 2000s except these are the more advanced versions developed this time in Canada. Now from 2009 to 2015 there were a number of articles on this weapon system but since 2016 which was the last article I could find there has been no more updates on this weapon system so it seems as if this weapon system has either been abandoned or the Canadians are just working on it in secret. Now there has been some photos and footage of the weapon being tested by some members of the Canadian Armed Forces along with those working on the weapon system and even some footage of the weapon being fired at least at the DRDC training slash testing center. Now this weapon system again would be the most advanced weapon system to be adopted by the Canadian Armed Forces if it were to ever make it past the prototype stage. Currently the standard issued rifles for the Canadian Armed Forces are the Colt C7 and Colt C8 series of select fire assault rifles and assault carbines but this weapon system here was stated to be lighter than both of these weapon systems. The Colt C7 weighs about 78 pounds fully loaded and the Colt C8 weighs roughly about seven pounds fully loaded too along with either a grenade launcher attachment so this weapon system here must weigh somewhere between five and six pounds fully loaded although I highly doubt that but this is what the cult slash Canadian government are saying about this weapon system at least back in the year of 2015. So 
as of 2016 and as of this year 2022 there have basically been no updates or no more information released on this weapon system leading many including myself to believe that this weapon system has either been abandoned or they are working on a newer version now i did see one photo of what appeared to be an updated pattern for this cult sipes precision weapon system but that photograph also dated back to 2015 and 2016 so i'm assuming that there has again been no more updates for this weapon system and it might have either been abandoned or they might still be working on it and are just waiting for the project to be completed before unveiling the final prototype or production version of this cult sipes but that is just my opinion on it i don't know what they're gonna do with this weapon system and i don't know if it's even still in development so and that's basically it this is one of canada's most forgotten modern weapon systems or modern infantry assault weapon systems that has not come out yet and has seemingly been abandoned since about 2016. So what do you all think of this? The Colt Sipes from Canada, the Soldier Integrated Precision Effects Systems from 2009 and 2015, 2016, in terms of all the information I could find on it. So what do you all think of this? Please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was Jayman Time signing off.